Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. As we have discussed in our previous videos that the Terraform requires the Terraform configuration with the required provider configuration, which means that the required provider are needed to interact with your cloud environment. And inside the required provide configuration, you can specify the mechanism to authenticate or let your Terraform providers know that how it should connect to your Terraform environment. Today, in this video, we will look at how do you connect to your cloud environment with the help of Terraform configuration or I should say that how do you how do you authenticate how do we authenticate to the cloud environment from the Azure Terraform code or I should say how do we authenticate to the cloud environment from the Terraform code using the authentication options available in Azure Terraform. In this example, we are going to use the Azure as the cloud environment to connect to the Azure subscription from our Terraform code. Just for the demonstration, I have opened this Azure provider documentation which says that there are multiple options which you can use to connect to your cloud environment from the Azure Terraform or from your Terraform code. The very first option which is most preferable option which is being used across many many projects is the authentication with the service principle option. We'll look into this option in this particular video. To authenticate to your Azure environment from the Terraform code using the service principle, the very first thing you need is a service principle. First of all, you need to log in to your Azure subscription using AZ account to create to a service principle. I'll go to the terminal. Here in the terminal, I'll log in to my Azure subscription using AZ login. If you already have the service principle created, then you can use that service principle. But I just want to have a demonstration that how do you use the service principle. So I'll be connecting to my Azure subscription. As you can see that it has connected to the service principle. Uh, it has connected to my Azure tenant. Now I can list down all my available subscription, which in this case, I just have one subscription. So I can say Azure account list. That will display the list of Azure subscription which I have. In this case, the subscription ID is this. Now, the next command I can run here is az space ad space sp create rbac and then the role which I need to assign to my subscription is the Azure is a contributor role and then I'll copy the ID of the subscription and then I'll replace the text which is this one with the subscription ID and what it will do it will create a service principle and it will assign a contributor access to that particular service principle on this subscription. So we have got the service principle successfully created and then we have got the result as in the client ID, which is app ID. Then we have got the client password and we have got the uh, tenant ID, which is the Azure tenant. Now I'll copy these values. I'll go back to my provider configuration. I'll just comment this out. Now, before I use this, I'll just want to make sure that it is the service principle has got the required access on my Azure portal. So I'll go to the Azure portal. I'll go to the subscription, click here, go to the access control, check the role assignment. As you can see, this is the service principle which has just now created and this has got the contributor access. You can also create a service principle manually on the Azure portal and assign a contributor access to the subscription if you wish to. I've demonstrated in this case to create the service principle 
via the command line. Let's go back to our demonstration and now use this output which is a client ID, secret and password to configure our required provider. In this case, I'll use the client ID as in this which is the value which we have received. We'll use the client secret which is this and now I'll use the tenant ID which was this value. Next I'll use the subscription ID which is this value where I have assign a contributor value to this service principle. That's it. This is the only value I need to configure my provider. Now if I run the Terraform command such as Terraform init or Terraform plan, let me run the Terraform init and see how it works. Terraform initialization is succeeded. Next command I'm going to run is Terraform plan. Actually before I run the Terraform plan, I would like to comment this out and run Terraform. Now before you run the command, first of all I would like to run the Terraform plan command without this configuration and also if you remember we have firstly login as an as a login on my local system. So I don't want to log in again. I don't want to keep that. I don't want and the Terraform to use the session which I have created to log in or to create a service principle. So I am going to log out from that session so that I don't have a session available. As you can see that we don't have any active session. And if I run the Terraform as it account dot show that should not show any result as it says that I'm already logged out. So it's asking me to run the login, which means that there is no connectivity available. Now, before we run any subsequent Terraform command, make sure that I am cleaning this dot uh, Terraform directory. I'll rerun the Terraform initialization command so that it connects to or uh, download the provider and the configuration fresh. Now I will run the Terraform plan command. It has worked actually. The reason it has worked right now because we are not using any Azure resources. So let's go to the Terraform documentation. Let's try to create a resource group. So here I will try to create a resource group. I'll run the Terraform initialization command again. The initialization is completed. I'll rerun the Terraform plan again. Now what happens now is Terraform plan command will try to connect to the Azure account using the Azure providers because we are trying to say that we would like to create a storage account with this code and when Terraform tries to connect to or try to create a storage account for that it needs to connect to an Azure environment and to connect to Azure environment, it will require an authentication. So it says feature block is required, which I'm missing right now. So let me just include a feature block. Let me read and again, as you can see that the Terraform pro provider is trying to connect to the Azure environment, but as we do not have any authentication mechanism set up, it, it's, it's going to fail. The reason for that is there is no uh, authentication has been set up. So the least authentication it is expecting is it is thinking that you might be running the Terraform command on your local machine. So please try to run AZ login before you connect or run your Terraform subsequent command. Without that it's not going to work. Now to fix this issue what we can do is we can uncomment this. We can set the authentication option and now if I rerun again the Terraform initialization and Terraform plan let's see if it generates the plan as you can see that the Terraform plan says that it's going to create 
as you can see that the terraform plan says that it's going to create one resource which is of type resource group and this time it has successfully able to connect to my azure account because we have set up an authentication in my azure resource provider block or required provider block that this is how the provider should be authenticating to my azure environment this is my azure tenant id this is the subscription which on which it requires to connect and this is the service principle which it requires to use in order to authenticate to the subscription or to the active directory tenant of the azure so in this video we have seen how do we use the azure service principle to authenticate to the azure environment from the terraform required provider i hope this is useful